So hey guys, we have again a very beautiful question, a simple yet beautiful question. And this question says, 2 raised to the power x plus x is equal to 11. And we have to find the value of x. So let's see how we are going to solve this. So first of all, uh, we can simply send this x to that side so that all the algebraic part becomes one side. And this 2 raised to the power x is an exponential part. So exponential becomes one side. So I can write 2 raised to the power x is equal to 11 minus x. Now let me tell you that there is no method to solve algebraic and, exp and exponential functions together uh, by some method. Some mathematical methods are not there. But there is one method that is graphical method. And solving this question by graphical method will be a very easy deal as well. So let's do that. So 2 raised to the power x, if you make the graph for this particular function, some of you might be knowing it already and some of you might not be knowing. So we'll take these two functions independently, 2 raised to the power x, y equals to 2 raised to the power x, and this second function y equals to 11 minus x. So first of all, if I talk about y equals to 2 raised to the power x, if I put some, some values, x and y, I can put like minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2. So you will get certain values. So for minus 2, you will get 1 by 4, minus 1, 1 by 2. This is 1. And for 1, this is 2 and this is 4. If you plot all these points, the graph will be looking like this. So you have this x-axis, y-axis. The graph will be looking like this. Okay. So this is going to be 2 raised to the power x. For all negative values, it is going to be lesser than 1. At 0, it will hit the one mark, this one, 0, 1. And then moving on, as you move on 1, 2, it, it will exponentially rise. Similarly, you can make the graph for y equals to 11 minus x. So y equals to 11 minus x again, uh, sorry, y equals to 11 minus x. You can again put x and y. You can put multiple values like minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, and then plot the graph. Although for this, the graph will be either way, this can even be even be made like this, x plus y equals to 11. So if it is x plus y equals to 11 means on x axis, this graph is going to intersect at 11. On y axis also, it is going to intersect at 11. So if you join them, this is the line. It will intersect y at 0, 11, x at 11, 0. So from this graph, this is very clear and very evident that both the graphs are intersecting at one point. So one thing is very clear, that this one point is going to be the solution. Cool. Now, that one point is obviously above y equals to 1 and more than x equals to 1. So more than x or you can say more than x equals to 0 to be very precise. So above y equals to 1 means here if, if you put y equals to 1, so x equals to 0, more than x equals to 0 is going to be the solution. So now here from the graph, by this graph graph, you won't be able to find the exact value. Either you can do means uh, you can utilize some software, some mathematical uh, tools available on the website on internet to find this value or otherwise there is only one method hidden trial. So you have to take multiple values. So say for example, if I do x equals to 1. So if I do x equals to 1, this becomes 2 raised to power 1. I'll write the equation 2 raised to power 1 and this becomes 11 minus 1. So this is 2, this is 10, very far difference. So not equal obviously. At x equals to 2, this becomes 2 raised to power 2 and this becomes 11 minus 2. 11 minus 2 is 9 and 2 raised to power 2 is 4. So this is increasing and this is decreasing. So they are coming closer. Similarly at x equals to 3, this becomes 2 raised to power 3 and this becomes 11 minus 3. So 2 raised to power 3 is 8, 11 minus 3 is also 8 and hence this is the solution. So this is the only method, although hit and trial. Now we have got the solution that x equals to 3 is the solution. And at this point of time, some of you might be thinking that, sir, we could have got this answer even without doing this much thing. We could have simply put x equals to 3 by doing some hit and trial, we would have got this. But if you would have got that answer x equals to 3, there would not have been any guarantee that whether this is the only solution or not. Hmm? Because x equals to 3 might be one of the solution, might not be all the solution. So for ascertaining that, that whether this question has only one solution or more than one solution also, you need you needed this graph. And this graph is confirming that okay, only one intersection is there, so only one solution. By hit and trial, that solution is x equals to 3. And hence, we have got the answer. So I hope you all would have liked this problem. If that is the case, please do share this video with your friends and do like the video as well. And with this, we'll see you in the next question.
Till then, take care. Bye bye. Thank you. And follow this channel for more such videos. There are a lot of videos like this. You'll find on this channel. Please check the channel. Thank you. So, guys, I hope you loved and enjoyed the problem. And if that is the case, so I would like to give you one more problem as a challenge which you should solve and send me the answers. What do you say? So if, if you are ready, here is the problem. In this problem, what you have to do, you have to solve this question and write the answers in the comment box. If I get a lot of right answers, then I'm very, very happy. I'll be very happy to see all of you solving these challenging questions. And in case if you're not able to solve, just write down in the comment box that, sir, I'm not able to solve it. Kindly help or kindly guide. I'll be very happy and uh, based on the responses given by you guys in the comment box, I'll be bringing a solution video for this particular question in the next session. Okay. So I hope you loved and enjoyed this video. So if you, if that is the case, please write down in the comment box, your valuable feedback. Do like the video and subscribe the channel for more such beautiful contents. See you in the next video. Thank you.